everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Caitlin if you're new here welcome I do a lot of different things on this channel I do like makeup ASMR home vlog but I really just call it a lifestyle page so that's what it is if you're new here and also joining me as my little kitty cat again yeah he just always has to be around me so. <laughs> anyways today I thought I could do maybe some a makeup look with one of the palettes that I showed in my last video so I don't really know which look I'm gonna go for today because I'm not very good at doing makeup but if you're I can't have nothing nice but don't don't do that no leave it alone just leave it alone But <laughs> while you're here and I've got you right here, before we get into the video, make sure you subscribe to my channel first if you already haven't. Leave a like if you enjoy this video once you finish watching it and leave a comment down below. Just say hello and I'll say hello back. It'd be a fun time. <laughs> and you can also follow me on all of my social medias down below as always. I've got to take my glasses off because you guys know I literally uh, I can't see. <laughs> I can't do my makeup if I have my freaking glasses on, but then I can't see to do my makeup. Does anyone else have this problem? Like I had contacts, but I haven't gotten any new ones, which I have an appointment this month to go to the eye doctor and get some new contacts because the ones that I got last time, um, when I was wearing them, like once I got home and started wearing them every day, um, they were just really, really blurry and one fell out of my eyeball one day, like just randomly. And I was like, okay, I think these are too big. so. I'm gonna have to go back and get different contacts because I definitely hate wearing glasses all the time because it's just really annoying and I feel like when I wear glasses when I do my makeup it takes away from the makeup so when I wear my glasses I don't wear really fancy oh look I like I have a bow tie uh, <laughs> I don't wear like really done makeup because I just feel like my glasses cover it they probably don't but that's just how my brain works okay Anyways, <laughs> I'm gonna talk through this video, so hopefully this isn't like a really long video because I may have smoked before I did this, so you guys know if I do that, I end up- Can you stop? Hey, hey, boy, boy, leave stuff alone. You have toys to play with. Oh my gosh. <sighs> so I'm just gonna start with some moisturizer. Um, this is just the Avino Daily Moisturizer. I use it because I have really sensitive skin. Um, so like, I try not to use things with too many perfumes or things in that nature that will upset my skin because I already have pretty upset skin. Um, I don't know. My skin's been freaking out lately and it's like I can't get a freaking control on it whatsoever. It's like, anything that I do is just, I feel like it's making it worse. Like, I'll wash my face, and I'll, like, exfoliate. So, oh, I haven't actually exfoliated in a while, so that maybe that that might be why <laughs> I need to exfoliate today. And every time I'm, like, when I go to clean my face, I'm, like, oh, I'm going to actually um, exfoliate my face and get all this dead skin off. And that's probably what's irritating my skin is because I probably have clumps of dead skin just sitting on top of it, and I just keep barely getting it off. But... <laughs> anyways now that that's done um can you please go find another spot to lay okay there's a whole bed over there for you to lay on <laughs> also I want to show you guys something real quick look what I found today I was I was at the store because and ignore this light because I'm right by the window and it's like I tried to close the blinds but now it's like coming through but anyways I was at Walmart because I had to pick up my medication um, but I just kind of browsed at the Halloween decorations that they had up. They didn't have a lot of decorations and, like, stuff you can buy right now. They had costumes out, but, like, everything else they were still putting out. Like, literally, there was people putting it out as I was, like, looking through the stuff. And I was like, mm, okay. But I just happened to spot these beauties. Look at them. They're, like, um, tights, but they have stars and moons on them. That's cute. And I'm definitely going to use those for some photos. Wink, wink. Um, anyways, that was off topic. Oh, I feel like that's how this whole video is gonna go. <laughs> do I want to put primer on? I probably do. I mean, I'm not going anywhere. I'm just gonna wipe this off. But for the sake of the video, 
Today I'm going to be using the MAC um, Prep and Prime Natural Radiance in the shade Radiant Pink, I guess. But I really like this stuff. It can be a little bit heavy on your skin um, because MAC is more, I guess, professional makeup. For me, I've always considered MAC a little bit more professional than like, say, drugstore, you know? Um, nothing wrong with drugstore because I use drugstore stuff, obviously, I'm going to be using it in this video. But I do have expensive things that I do. So, use for my face. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Huh. Anyways, I like this stuff. I'm going to need some new stuff soon because like, it feels, I feel like I've been using it for a while. And it's really hard to tell how much is in here because it's like, it's already pretty lightweight. I don't know. Um, and then today's foundation, I always like don't know how to do my makeup. I see a lot of girls do like their eyebrows first and then their foundation and then this and this. I don't know which way you're supposed to do it. I don't know which way is the right way or the wrong way. But what I usually do is I start with my foundation, which I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild foundation in the shade Porcelain. I like this stuff because it's not too heavy on my skin, but it also, you can build up to it. Sorry, I'm getting like text messages like crazy. Everyone's asking, are you doing anything right now? Are you home? And usually when people ask me that, it's because they want something. I'm like, I don't mind helping out people, but like I'm in the middle of something. And how do I explain to someone I can't? help you right now with whatever it may be because um I'm making YouTube videos like I'm pretty sure my family will not find that a valid reason not to help whatever it may be that they're wanting um <laughs> but to me it is so I don't know where my sponge is did you steal it Where's my sponge? I thought I saw it like. I'm gonna spray it with some rose water. I'm sure it will do the same thing. Get on my some moist. Ew. But I know you're supposed to like fill these up with water or whatever, but I don't feel like walking all the way to the bathroom to do that. Cause I'm on the floor because you guys know I haven't built my vanity yet it's been a process um I could have already built it by now it's just that I spend money on other things than what I actually want to spend them on like I end up spending most of my money on food and like decorations for my room and for the house <coughs> so most of my money gets spent once I mean like I pay my bills obviously Like, I make sure all my bills are paid, and if I can pay some ahead, I'll go ahead and do that. And then I'll give myself, like, $100 to, like, spend on whatever. And then the rest of it, I put in savings. Um, because, you know, adulting is hard. And we have lots of bills to pay now. I mean, I've always had bills to pay, but, like, now we have a mortgage and, like, utilities and we buy our own groceries and like sometimes my mom helps though buy our groceries like sometimes like once a month or whatever she'll be like hey i'll buy your groceries this week and that always does help out i appreciate that so much for my mom you know at least she's helping somewhat anyways i'm not gonna get too deep into that but i do like this foundation i know i like kind of jump around conversation but that's just how my brain works I think sometimes I'm ADHD but not really I think I just get really excited when I have something to talk about and then I'm like oh I have something else to talk about too and I'm like I have to tell you right now because if I don't I'm gonna forget I know myself okay I don't know what I'm gonna title this video <laughs> trying makeup from five and below while also talking your fucking ear off. Fuck, where's my concealer? Hello. Um, I'm using the Fit Me 
what is that, Maybelline? I guess it's Maybelline. I don't know, I've had it and it's like all messed up, but it's still good. It's like, oh yeah, it is Maybelline. <laughs> In the shade, Vanilla. I am very vanilla, I will agree. Oh shit. Um, I know it's probably weird that I don't put foundation on my eyes, but like, I saw other girl do this. I saw, um, I think her name's Michaela, and I don't know her last name, but I'll have to like try to put her name right here. I follow her on TikTok and I love watching her makeup videos. Um, and like I try to watch how she does things because her makeup always turns out so good Even though like we do have different types of like skin textures So like she doesn't have as much texture as I do on my skin So like I have to do things a little bit differently because it's really hard to cover up like All my acne and my scars Which it kind of sucks because like I've been to a dermatologist before And like I use creams that are like recommended for me and like it still doesn't really work i probably should wash my face more like the only time i wash my face is like if i'm in the shower or if i wear makeup but if i like don't take a shower that day then i'm not getting my face washed you know what i mean so it's like i bet if i took better care of my skin and actually washed it every single day and exfoliated it every day it would probably get a lot better but then I also had the fact that I'm on like a really high um, hormone birth control because I have some issues, some female issues. So I have to be on a really high dosage because um, it just helps regulate it or whatever. I know that's like TMI, but I hate it for you. This is my channel. Welcome. I overshare everything. I'm that person, you know, like when you see an old lady in the store and like you're the cashier and they just like, you're like, oh, how's your day going? And they're like, well, let me just start by saying, I woke up this morning and I couldn't find my shoe. And you know, like they show you their whole life story and they're like, yeah, reminded me of that time that me and Billy Joe got married, but then we got divorced because he was cheating on me. You know what I mean? That's me. I love to tell people just everything about me. Not everything. There are some things I don't share on the internet, but like, for a majority, I pretty much overshare all my trauma. That's my favorite thing to do is oversharing my trauma. It's probably not good because I'm sure people are like, nobody wants to hear it, but I only do it to certain people. Like I don't just go in the grocery store and I'm like, let me tell you about this time when I was six years old. You know what I mean? I only overshare to people I feel comfortable around. Now, if I don't feel comfortable around you, I'm not telling you shit. Um, you will get the bare minimum of personal information about me but if because I, I don't know you gotta have the right vibe you know what i mean you can't just be telling everybody everything because some people you just can't trust so lesson 101 today um okay eyebrows eyebrows no god i don't know what i'm doing this is why it takes me like um a few hours to do my makeup and my boyfriend's like we need to go. We were supposed to leave a long time ago. Are you in? Actually, he doesn't do that anymore. When we first started dating, he'd be like, oh, are you almost done? And, but I think he's learned now that he just has to leave me alone. Um, and let me do what I want to do to my face. Because I'm going to get angry if he keeps coming and bothering me while I'm trying to focus on my face. Oh, also, I'm using the e.l.f. Um, perfect finish HD powder and it's just the white one or the translucent one I really like this one um, I just got this um, I think like last week when I went to Walmart anytime I go to Walmart just for like one thing I end up leaving with like a handful of things but I don't get a buggy if I don't get a buggy I won't fill it up and that way I won't spend as much and I only carry everything if I'm just going in for like a few things because if I can't carry it, well, it ain't going. You know, that's my theory. Um, <laughs> I've gotten really good at carrying things, though. So that's kind of the problem. Uh, but I was looking for something like this because I'm wanting to do some Halloween makeup videos on my TikTok for, like, I really love doing makeup transition videos. 
that's like my favorite thing right now um i love watching those kind of videos and seeing how like other people do their makeup and like do different transitions with different songs like um i love to just try and do something you know let's trending or sometimes I just do something on my own um, if I feel like I can't find one that I really like but um, I want to do some kind of like Halloween makeup I'm not very good at Halloween makeup I've done a few um, like me and my boyfriend usually dress up every year for Halloween and I end up doing both of our makeups yes my boyfriend will wear makeup if I ask him to for Halloween he does not care um, I've literally had him in a whole half a face of a skeleton with lipstick on, so, you know, he loves me, right? Um, okay, the next thing that I'm using is the Shape It Up Sculpt and Contour by LA Colors. This is just from Five and Below. Ouch. Just back my but I'm just going in with this, like, brown color, and that's my contour. Dab a little bit off. I'm not very good at this, so I just kind of go with what I think looks good. I don't know, honestly. Um, for the eyebrows, I do like a weird combination of things. Uh, usually I would use like a brown eyeshadow, but I don't know where, I had just a brown eyeshadow and I don't know where it is. I don't know what, um, freaking oh my gosh maybe it's in this one okay so I found it I found the um eyeshadow that I usually use oh my gosh we're already at 24 minutes and we're not even halfway done <laughs> so for my eyebrows I'm using this um unique palette um Caleb's grandma gave it to me so that's the only reason I have this brand. I don't really like their stuff too much because it's just a little, um, I don't know, it just feels really cheap to me. Like, not good quality, I guess. Not really cheap, but Jesus Christ, all my lights are falling. I'm gonna have to repin those up. Anyways, I go in the um, shade Cocky, which is like a brown shade, and it matches my eyebrows really well. So I just kinda, I wish I had some soap so I could like, put my eyebrows up like they're supposed to because like I feel like this brush is not enough to actually put my eyebrows where they need to go. I know my face looks really orange compared to my body but um I think it's just the lighting in here because it doesn't look that bad but it is a little orange right here but you know sometimes sometimes that just happens. I'm gonna put some blush on and maybe that will help. I don't know. This is like the palest color they have and my skin is yellow. Is that just me? Or do I look yellow? Mine is really fucking hard. Let me, let me change the lighting a little bit. So our choices are the Lemon Drop, which is a bunch of yellow colors, which I'm not, I mean, we could do a little bit of yellow maybe. I don't know, cause I'm wearing green today. Um, I don't know. Or I don't think the red one was, is gonna really look good with this green shirt. Cause I'm just gonna wear this green shirt for the whole video. Cause I don't really have a lot of nice clothes to like, <laughs> show off like I could have already bought me tons of 
clothes by now with all the money that I've made, but like over the years or whatever, but like I never update my freaking wardrobe. I just have t-shirts. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> uh, see, I don't think like any of these colors. I may use this brown right here. That brown for something. I'm just trying to think of a look. I have to look at these colors. And then we have this peachy one, which, I don't know. Okay, so I'm going in with this um, MAC brush. Uh, 217. It's really old. You can't even see the freaking uh, name on it anymore. But it is a MAC brush. You can see the indention where it says MAC, but it doesn't actually have like the color on it anymore. Because I've just had this for a long time. It's my favorite brush for packing stuff on. This is what it looks like. Okay. So the first color I'm going to go in with is probably this shade right here. It doesn't say what the names are. Um, and this is my first time using this. Ooh. Okay, we got, we got some fallout. I don't know if you can see that. Um, I'm not pressing hard. Um, oh yeah, it's very soft. Like half of that, half of that just came off. Um, okay, I guess we're just gonna do it. I mean, it's a nice color, but it's not very vibrant. Um, I mean, we'll see how this goes. I'm gonna take my Morphe M513 brush and just buff it out. This is the final look. Let me turn the I just showed you it a second ago I mean <laughs> anyways <laughs> I hope everyone enjoyed this video I hope you liked it and if so leave a like I really appreciate it if you did and don't forget to subscribe to my channel I don't know if I already said that I may have and comment down below and I'll say hello <laughs> bye everyone <laughs>